Uh, with Don Rickles, here's our friend Mindy in Levittown, Pennsylvania. Hi, Mindy, and welcome to CBS Late Night. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Don. Hi, Mindy. You got my daughter's name. What? She has your name, Mindy. Um, well, how old is she? Seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> no, Why? Just... You from immigration? Why? Well, what is the matter? <laughs> no, she's I just... just wondered who was older. Um, I actually, um, I wanted to ask you, uh, how, wh did you have a good time on your honeymoon? <laughs> what? Why, did you hear something? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, they did yeah. Hey, 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 Mindy. I rolled over a couple of times, but I had a good time. <laughs> My wife, when I made love to her on the wedding night, she was, we always make up different things. Even when you're married a long time, you just can't make love one, two, three. Uh, the other night, she was a barge in the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the captain Cap going, captain uh, hitting captain. the dock. Oh. <laughs> you know, we, do you, do you remember, um, uh, do you remember, can you hear me? Snap out of it, huh? No, okay. Go ahead. Do you, do you remember Lou Krause from the Latin Casino? Yes, I do. Yeah. The I, orchestra leader. Right. Right. He, I, when he, he passed away in 85, I, I know that. I called your wife. I was the one that had to call and tell. Really, it was a great moment for me. Oh. Yeah, really. No, he was a great man, though. He was. Lou was he, the best. This is the old Latin casino in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, right? right? Dave he, Duchamp. He Dave Duchamp. He used to have the little hand curl up. A, a yeah. band before that. Bobby? He had played in a big band before that, and... I we, know that, but I'm not Ralph Edwards. That's a big <laughs> with Frank's No, it's just that you were very nice back then when that happened, and I've, all these years, I've wanted to be able to say thank you. Well, that's very sweet of you. Thank you, dear. Mindy, thanks for calling, and thanks for watching. Oh, you're welcome, and this has really been a big thrill, because I've wanted to talk to Mr. Rickles for a very long time. <laughs> now your dream came true. I know. Oh, yeah. are, you go, are you and Joan Rivers going to be appearing in Atlantic City or anything? Uh, not, not in Atlantic City. She don't like the water. Oh, okay. Well, anywhere, like, within... The... Well, we'll be around the country. You'll find us. Look for the sign. Okay. All right. G but good night, I, Mindy, oh, and, and uh, thanks for calling. All right, and, and thank you very much. And happy Mother's Day, Mindy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm not a mother, though. That doesn't make it... Oh, yes, okay. you are. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a thing. Say oh, goodbye to the woman. Yeah. She'll take up the whole show. Talk to me here about a guy that I've heard stories about, Lee Marvin. Oh, you know, you <laughs> well, I've heard from a fellow who does publicity here in town. Lee was a great actor. Yeah. And Lee had a problem with booze. He yeah. always did. But this is common knowledge. But he was a marvelous guy. When he was straight, you know, it's like Jekyll and Hyde, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we're sitting in Danny's side. I don't know who told you about that. We're well, sitting in Danny's side. I'll tell you who after the... I'll tell you, there's a, public, a publicist here in town named Jim Mahoney who used to work with, uh, with, uh, oh, yeah. with Lee Marvin I, back in Jim, the Jim, I know well. Yeah. He's still running after Frank's car. <laughs> Sinatra's car. Wait up, wait up, Frank. Anyway, uh, well, Jim sits around. He's very Irish. Misses his mouth when he drinks. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, he is still more than we've... Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> and he's got about 25 kids. Yeah. Sorry. When he's sober, he dive bombs to the wife. Anyway, so, uh, Lee Marvel, we're in Danny's Hideaway one night, and it's after the corporate show, third show, in those days you did three shows, mm -hmm. and it's about 2.30 in the morning. And my wife, God bless her, is an absolute valiant. I mean, she is, she's a controlled woman. She is terrific. And we're sitting in the restaurant, and behind me at another table is Lee Marvin. The place is closed. Danny has the doors closed. And I'm saying to Danny, I said, I have the salad, and what have you, veal and pasta. And we're eating, and Barbara says, listen, behind you, Lee Marvin, don't turn around, because I think he's clean and good. Don't say nothing to him. <laughs> and I go, so what, what, is, what, is it, what does that mean? She says, and I hear behind me, yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> and I said, what, 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 what is he doing? She said, he's doing karate chop. <laughs> karate chop? Oh, yeah. Well, he was a Marine, wasn't he? No, oh, yeah. kid. Walked around with a bayonet in his pants. Yes. Anyway, so he was doing, yeah. And I was sitting there going, I said, just relax, sweetheart. I'm in charge. There's no problem. She said, he looks a little treacherous. This could be a problem. With that, he comes over to the table. And as you and I are leaning over, he sits down. And I know Lee a long time. He sits down and goes, <laughs> And I'm eating. It's <laughs> 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 true. Yeah, I'm, and the wife's going, would you care for tomatoes? <laughs> I said, what is wrong with you? I said, this man is out of control. She said, well, what are we going to do? She said, don't worry. I said, I have a butter knife under the table. <laughs> God forbid, he gets crazy. I got him covered. <laughs> 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 With that, she said, 
are you real relaxed? Now, this is after five minutes of conversation. I said, yes. She said, well, I don't know how to tell you this. Are you enjoying your spinach? I said, absolutely. She said, well, you've been eating his cigarettes. Oh, he's putting, he's putting, putting them to the spinach, and I'm going. <laughs> I ate seven pounds of tobacco and a little spinach. That's a true story. We have all seen you with Johnny Carson over the years. But talk to me here about the time when you and Carson uh, were both playing, I believe, Harris in uh, no, uh, the Sahara, the Sahara in, Las in Las Vegas. Right. And he was playing one room and you were playing right. the other at right. the time. Did, did you ever bump into him when you were not, not on television? Yeah, not, on, not on television. You know? No, he used to sit down at the end of the bar on my last show at 3 in the morning. Uh, and my joke is, you know, I make fun of people. And I'd uh, say, yeah. there's, a, there's a black gentleman sitting there, and that black gentleman, blah, blah. And Carson would get up from the bar and go, where, 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 where's the black gentleman? Show me where the black gentleman is. I was making it up. There was no black gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd say, the Italian guy, where? Show me the Italian guy. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And he would do that because he liked to, you know, in those days. <sighs> Hit the ginger ale pretty good. Yeah, so, you know. Johnny enjoyed a cocktail now and again. <laughs> really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, I know. Once my house wasn't there. <laughs> anyway, but he he was he was a wonderful artist, as we all know. Oh sure. And he loved to have fun. He really did. He, he used to hang out, and, and I was very flattered because he used to come and see me at, um, at like five in the morning. We had shows in those days, five in the morning, yeah. and he would come and sit at the end of the bar, you know, and really give me the jazz. But he he was fun. He was always. Fun. Of all the people you've been on the air with, you know, as a guest, would he be your favorite host? Did he treat you the best? Well, in fairness to, to David, who I adore, Letterman, and Jay, of course, sure. you know, and Larry King, all the, all the talk guys, and of course, Hugh, you yeah. know. Well, well, uh, no, you, you know the two things I like best about Larry King? What? His face. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have cataracts? <laughs> and cataracts, from, I said that to a black guy once, he said, that's a sailboat. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Anyway, uh, now don't send me letters for no. La that's for, a joke. They know editing. that. For God's sake, anybody with any brains knows that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, uh, I must say that the uh, the thing about Carson, he had a you know there was only one Carson. Of course, Jack Parr, who I never had the pleasure of working with him just once in my life in my career. He was always wonderful too. I was in Florida. I was an unknown guy, and I. Came on as a taxi driver. I'll never forget it was Jack Parr. I said, you're a moron or an idiot. And he said, who are you? Get out of here. The man didn't know who I was and didn't care. Yeah. And I don't blame him because I was, I was very brash in those days. And he was, but he, we became friends over the years. And he's a wonderful gentleman. I, I always loved his work. But Johnny had a, because I was on with him, he always left it open. Tom. Yeah. There was, yeah. He always left a space so that you could be funny. Always left that space. Yeah. And he always made you look good. He was never out to top you. He was out to make you look good. As, as David, who I adore, Letterman, you know. Oh. And, and, and Letterman, but they're different. Apples and oranges. Of you course, know, it's of a course. different world now. Okay. Yeah. We're with Don Rickles, who will be in uh, quest for uh, Camelot uh, as, a, as a voice. Then uh, Dirty Work opens on the 5th of June. And in the meantime, uh, uh, Don and Joan Rivers will be at uh, Harrah's in Reno on May the 23rd. No, Joan Rivers won't be me. Joan Rivers will not be with She'll Don. be touring with me around the country. the country. I'll be at Harrah's by myself. By, by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the room with peanuts trying to hit the maid. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly have a varied schedule, don't you? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm busy. Don I want to sit here every night and talk to the lambs. <laughs> <laughs> like you do, you know. You, but you, hey, that's why you're, you're going to take... Oh, by the way, good luck. I understand you're leaving for about six years. Good luck. I just want to be the first to say bye-bye. Back with Don and you on the toll-free as time permits after this brief timeout. <laughs>